guys, welcome back to my channel here. It's Lavender here, and today I am doing another Marcus Leninist Reviews the Documentary Film video. Today I'm doing the Marcus Leninist Reviews the Documentary Film called The Secret, The Dark Secret Behind Your Shiny Makeup. It's like an Asian documentary, like undercover Asian documentary. So let's get started into this anti capitalism video. By the way, this is an anti capitalism viewpoint. I am Marcus Leninist, and I want to do my take on this documentary. So here we go. Let's get started into this video. So I give this documentary, honestly, a 7 out of 10. Because again, um, I rank everything that is good lower than an 8 or a 9 or a 10 if it doesn't talk about capitalism. So let's start with the dislikes that I dislike about this documentary first. What I dislike about this documentary, it never mentioned the system capitalism as the main problem. The main problem is capitalism because capitalism is, you know, a very exploitative system. It did not even, I don't think, name the word capitalism in it. It's very important that we bring light to what capitalism really is. Number two, uh, it, it was talking about some, like, ethical, like, uh, consumerism. Again, there is no such thing as ethical consumption underneath capitalism. On to the things I like about this documentary. The things I liked. I liked how this documentary promoted anti-capitalism ideals. It exposed how exploitative, you know, capitalism is in the, in the industries underneath capitalism. And how capitalism puts profits over human lives every single day. So it brought, you know, even though it wasn't really talking about capitalism as in, like, naming it, it brought light into how exploitative capitalism really is and how evil it truly is. I like how it kind of exposed the cows pigs in this film. It, like, exposed the industries, but it never... And that's another thing I didn't like. I didn't like how it never, like, they never went to the headquarters of all these makeup brands and demanded why they are using, like, basically wage slaves or whatever. Um, another thing I liked about it, uh, it calls out child exploitation. Uh, I like how it called out the MICA statistics and facts in this documentary. I like how it exposed the unsaving working conditions. It exposed um, inequality, you know, exposed big time in this documentary. Um, it, it, I like the fact that it exposed the government's lack of care. Because the government doesn't care, you know, they don't. Because if they did, I mean, it's illegal to mine MICA, but the government's not doing anything about it. You know, the government doesn't care about the well-being of their own citizens. Uh, it also exposed food insecurities and, you know, malnutrition in this documentary. Since on a good day, they admitted that they only made $2 in American U.S. dollars every day on a good day. Uh, I like how they exposed that 10 people plus people each month lose their lives from mining in these unsafe, unstable mines due to capitalism and all these unsafe working conditions. I like how this documentary exposed British colonialism and British imperialism history. I hate how all these, like, Things are trying to cover up, you know, imperialism, but I like how it exposed the history of British imperialism and colonialism. I also liked, and the final thing I really liked about it is it showed the lack of awareness that a lot of people who consume, you know, you know, makeup and, you know, mica industry, there's like a lack of like like awareness and that is on purpose because again the capitalist pigs don't want people to find out about this because they want to have capitalism because capitalism puts money in their pockets and they love to buy their expensive yachts and stuff so if you guys like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe bye guys to the next video